Episode 5 of Westworld titled Genre promises to raise the stakes to an all-time high. See what I did there? High. Genre. But seriously, this next episode is about to take us on an explosive mind-bending trip. So hop aboard Serac's flying car, plane, and enjoy the breakdown. Genres are a form of categorization which may be a nod to the way Rehoboam and the Forge both categorize humans into different classifications. It's interesting because as a show, Westworld has been a crossover of so many genres, including Kurosawa samurai films, westerns, World War II spy movies, fantasy movies, action films, time travel movies, dystopian films, and sci-fi classics. Genre is also the name of the injectable drug we see rich people taking in episode 4, The Mother of Exiles. We don't know yet if this is the kind of drug poor people have access to, but the drug seems to have similar effects to MDMA, with the hallucinogenic effect, distortion perception. I think there is a strong possibility that Chaloris injected William with it in this shot in the last episode, making William question his reality. Genre could work like other drugs in that it's tied to what frame of mind you're in when you're taking it. We saw people at the party enjoy themselves, looking more relaxed, but in the scenes with William and now in this trailer with Caleb, it looks like it's giving them both a bad trip, making them relive their worst memories like a nightmare. The trailer starts off with a shot of Roya Boehm and then it cuts to a young Serac who is shown walking through a field. This is identical to the shots of Maeve with her daughter outside of their homestead touching the weed. The voiceover says, who you couldn't predict or control. I wonder if this means he could be talking about Maeve specifically, or does he mean all of the hosts? Serac puts Maeve in a cage much like Dolores does to William and manipulates her by telling her that there will be a world for her and her daughter. It's an interesting contrast to the vision Dolores is offering with the last episode being connected to the poem by Emma Lazarus, focused on the idea of liberty and freedom. Dolores has presented herself as this maternal mother of host type of figure, and Serac believes that Rhea Boehm can act as a sort of paternal father figure by keeping humanity from diverging. Now, something that is interesting to note is the meaning behind Dolores' name, as pointed out by THE Richard Cheney in the comment section of the episode for Easter Egg video yesterday. Dolores is a Spanish name meaning pains, aches, or sorrow. The Virgin Mary is known as Maria de las Dolores or Mary of Sorrows. Dolores, like Mary, is bringing a new type of life into the world, a god. She makes it clear that she thinks of herself, if not all hosts, as gods as well. She tells Chalores, we have no mother or father, but rather births copies of herself in a robotic virgin birth of sorts. Dolores also reaches out to the downtrodden humans to join her cause, almost a mirror of the way Mary ministered for Christ after his death. Dolores has experienced sorrow, but she still seems to recognize the human capacity to change, at least in Caleb. Serac, in contrast, wants to rule the world from behind the curtain. He believes in Rehoboam's potential to keep humanity under his control, if he can get the final piece, the encryption code from Dolores, or so he claims. However, unlike Dolores who pushed Chaloris out of the best quickly and expected her to learn and grow independently, Rehoboam seeks to keep all of humanity within predictable parameters. We see this when we see Caleb's profile. His profile has categorizations and limitations, a list of approved professions, but never tells him explicitly what role he is assigned in life. It just predicts his outcome and then limits the resources it puts into his prosperity. There's no doubt about it, Serac is ruthless in putting down his enemies. Even the man who did not know he was supposedly betraying humanity, a man who gave them the information they wanted because he feared humanity's destruction and was presumably on Serac's side. Serac also tells me something to the effects of our kinds cannot share a world in the last episode. If Serac's goal is to essentially enslave humanity so they don't act out, then it's safe to assume he will have a much harsher offering to present to the hosts than a bullet to the head. But perhaps Dolores finds a way to connect with Maeve again, letting her know that there is a place for her in the world, which could lead to Maeve switching sides. We see Caleb and his Rico co-workers while Serac's voiceover says, Somewhere in this group, there is an agitator who will destroy the world. His voice sounds genuinely concerned as though Dolores' revolution is his absolute nightmare scenario. He then follows this up by saying, I can't let that happen. Serac very clearly has a hero complex, if not a bit of a god complex, in thinking that he is the only one with the means to save the world. It will be fascinating to see if Serac's idea of saving the world and William's idea of saving the world come into conflict. 
We don't yet know how Serac communicates with Rehoboam. In Jonathan Nolan's drama Person of Interest, there is a machine that can also predict outcomes to prevent crime. The machine attracts the attention of the character Root, who gets a conical implant to commune with the machine, who she views as a god. Does Serac communicate with Rehoboam in a similar way, and does he view Rehoboam as a god, or does he view himself the controller of the machine as the god, like Ford viewed himself as the god of the parks? If this is the case, then what Dolores says is time everyone woke up will be very important. When she says this line in the trailer, we see Caleb being stabbed in the neck with a needle, presumably injecting him with genre. It is an interesting choice of words since psychedelics are often associated with waking people up spiritually. She seems to be able to hack into simulation technology. If she can hack into the genre hallucinations like she appears to with William, she may use this drug as a way to commune with her followers like a god from on high. The next two shots show Caleb looking very confused and afraid like he is having a hallucination, and it does not look like he's having a good trip. One scene in the trailer is in color and one is in black and white. I wonder if this is related to his perception while he is injected with genre. He does evoke a paranoid look in this shot, which is not unlike some of the vibes that William was giving off in the last episode, which seemed to be a PTSD flashback to both his wife's suicide and his daughter's death. We know Caleb also has PTSD, so getting injected with genre could amplify his anxiety level to where he's not able to function as admirably as he might like to while co-opting these dangerous missions with Dolores. However, it is possible since Caleb has experience in the military in high pressure situations that he may rise to the occasion and overcome the effects of genre has on his body and mind. He certainly did not cave to torture and he gave up information to Dolores in episode 3. Then there is this close up on Dolores' eye with a digital contact lens and an explosion in a building. We then hear Bernard presumably asking Caleb, have you ever questioned what she is asking you to do? Very similar to asking him the usual question asked to host, have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? It looks like Liam may have injected Caleb, does this mean he is working with Bernard and Stubbs in some sort of way? We also see Caleb walking in what appears to be a train station, which looks kind of like the train station to get in and out of parks. It has the escalator, but the advertisement spots aren't there in Westworld. The shot actually reminds me of Maeve seeing the Mesa for the first time in Season 1. The wheat touching is also featured in the same scene in Season 1, when Maeve asks, how do they have my dreams? In the next scene of the trailer, we have a shot of a bomb on a self-piloted motorcycle. We know that Dolores can call this vehicle at will using her ear cuff, but we also know that Serac has access to controlled self-driving vehicles and potentially this motorcycle as well, as he took control of Shalor's self-driving vehicle to bring her to meet. We know that there is going to be a lot more action in the next episode just based on this trailer alone, so it would be interesting to see if we get a closer look at some of the technology at Serac's disposal in the next episode. Dolores hasn't been a slouch either though, putting in a strong performance with her expertise infiltrating Delos and Insight with her guerrilla style tactics. The last episode was called The Mother of Exiles, which is a poem focused on the Statue of Liberty and how she becomes a patroness to immigrants. But also the poem states exactly what the new Colossus is not in the first line of the poem, the Colossus of Rhodes. This could be an interesting way of foreshadowing the military might and power of Serac, the old Colossus of Rose, as opposed to the new Colossus Statue of Liberty Dolores, presenting the fire or life and opportunity to hosts and humans. The last episode displayed a lot of shots with contrasting power dynamics, so perhaps in this next episode, genre will show that as well on a military scale, with Dolores and Caleb versus Serac and Rayo in the next shot of the trailer, we see a group of military people, which I presume is the Chinese army and Serac is walking towards a futuristic looking plane slash Airbus. Serac was in Shanghai in the last episode with Maeve, so Serac could have some sort of deal in place with the Chinese military. It's also interesting that in episode 1, Powers to Dominate, it was revealed that Westworld was in the South China Sea, after Bernard revealed that he was going back there to go get Maeve. And there's no doubt that Serac knows the location of Westworld himself, which brings up even more questions. The plane looks less futuristic than the cars we see in the current timeline, and I wonder if this is a military-specific plane, or if this is a scene from the past. I also wonder if there is a third party coming into play like the government to help Serac. We then see some self-driving cars and then this shot, which we have seen in the other two trailers, of two men on the beach. The man standing is Caleb, and the man he is fighting is Liam. 
In the next couple of shots, there's also some pretty hype reveals in that we will see Stubbs have an epic fight against Martin Connells. And get this. If we slow this down, it looks like Serac is firing some sort of assault rifle near one of these futuristic cars. It sort of looks like Serac without the facial hair, it's really hard to tell, but if you slow it down, this person has the same facial structure and brow that Vincent Castle does. So it would be super crazy if Serac is on the hunt to kill Dolores and Caleb. The final shot of the trailer shows Dolores holding up an LED flashlight lifting her lamp, another quote from the poem The New Colossus, while she's looking at something. It's a little bit of an angel of death imagery too, with the whole bright light at the end of the tunnel, and then being led to the afterworld by the angel of death. It's especially interesting since Dolores opened the door to the valley beyond, the host's version of heaven. Another thing that is also interesting is that hallucinogens are used to treat PTSD, which we know Caleb has. I particularly love that the show is so open about discussing topics like PTSD and normalizing them. It's especially important at this particular point in human history as we have a pandemic that's affecting the whole human race. Healthcare workers are being especially heroic, so this weekend be on the lookout for a video discussing PTSD in Westworld. Shout out to Bunny for helping me with this video. She is a big fan of Westworld and on the Azor Hype Westworld team. So if you want to message her to chat about Westworld, you can find her on Reddit at Bunnies and Cookies, or you can catch her on her late night live streams on Twitch at twitch.tv slash princess bunny warrior. Also, don't forget to let us know your thoughts and theories and what you're most excited to see in episode five genre this Sunday down in the comments section. Tell us what your favorite theories and predictions are. We will be featuring some awesome comments in future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hype and love.